KHO into weather, Kamaka Pili. A beautiful start to our weekend, and as we take a peek into Sunday, it's green lights across the board. Low threats for our ocean conditions, our kai, our jellyfish, our pololia, our makani, our wind, and our rain. A beautiful day again tomorrow, not just to start off the weekend, but now to end it off. And especially for you surfers up on the north-facing shores, we have this short period north swell that's passing north of the islands, but that's going to be giving a bump to the north-facing shores tomorrow. We're looking at some five to seven footers rolling in on the north, two to four for the west and the south. East-facing shores is looking to be the calmest one to three and we can thank the light winds for that today we've been having more of this light and variable conditions more trade winds for Kauai and Oahu in particular the west end lighter winds for the east end but as we progress into tomorrow we're going to see those winds build up for Hawaii Island and Maui in particular but this is going to be a short round of trade wind weather because once we get into Monday we're going to start to lose especially for Kauai and Oahu uh, some trade wind flow because of an incoming cold front that's coming in from the northwest good news with that we're not going to see much shower activity. The greatest impact with that will be the winds in this upcoming week. This cold front that's over the islands right now, that round a round of wet weather this morning, especially for windward sides here on Oahu. And as it moved towards the east, closer towards Maui County this afternoon, it really stalled itself out but continued to dissipate. So as we look, take a look tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, we still see that boundary slightly over Moloka'i and Maui County. But as we progress, that's going to continue to fizzle out and allow more dry conditions and stable conditions to return and prevail across all islands. It was not m too much instability today, but we're going to see a lot of improvement tomorrow compared to that. And it's that next cold front again that's really going to be impacting our winds. And because of the flow of our winds, that's going to really be uh, impacting in terms of shower activity. Nothing going to be great, but instead of windward showers, we're going to start to see more inland showers. First, though, taking a peek tomorrow county by county, beautiful conditions, greatest chance for shower activity, 30 to 50 percent chance for the windward sides, with the exception here on Oahu. It looks to be another beautiful day. Tonight, a slight in, uh, increase of showers, mainly for Hawaii Island and Maui. Now, in terms of winds, tomorrow we're going to have these easterly flow across all islands. That's going to be a little warmer compared to the northeasterly flow we've been experiencing. Afternoon showers now due to the light and variable winds for Monday and Tuesday, giving windward sides a break. But then when the trade winds return on Wednesday, they're going to slowly build moderate to breezy conditions as we get into the weekend. You can expect most of the focus of shower activity will return to the windward sides leaving leeward and inland areas quite dry. Sam, give it back to you.